Hello from Lake Cahuilla, California. This video takes you to my favorite place on earth, Sequoia National Park. We started our journey in LA and drove for about three hours north into the Central Valley of California. This town we're passing through called Exeter is really well known for its orange groves. We made a quick stop at Lake Cahuilla to stretch our legs, take in the beauty, and get some aerial shots. This is actually the last place that I was legally allowed to fly the drone. We're noticeably tired, but happy that we made it. We're official, and we got the America the Beautiful Pass, which is $80 for annual entry into most of the national parks. It's really a bargain because this park alone would have been $35 per day. It's incredible how the beauty of this park changes the higher you go. As you start to enter the giant forest, you see the sequoias for the first time. These beauties only grow at elevation between 5,000 and 7,000 feet above sea level. We're at Big Trees Trail. You look so cute. The biggest trees in the world, y'all. We're hiking from the Giant Forest Museum to the General Sherman Tree, about three miles total. You guys, we're on Big Trees Trail in Sequoia National Park, and it's a beautiful Saturday in October right now. The air is crisp, the sun is shining, and we couldn't ask for a better day. I'm so excited to show you around. First up, this beautiful fallen tree. You really get a sense of size of these sequoias when they're laying down. We didn't expect to see such bright fall colors. I mean, these pinks and oranges are out of this world. Whoa. Is it sticky? Whoa, we're in a tree. It's more of, it's like something in the tree. It's like oily. Oh yeah, I can see it. Sequoia really feels like nature's playground, and this place is super special because giant sequoia trees only grow in one place on the entire planet, the western slopes of the Sierra Nevada mountains here in California. There's only a 260 mile area where these trees can thrive, and they require this pretty high elevation as well, so we're lucky to be able to play amongst these gentle giants. Echo! Trees are hollow. Just exited the Lincoln tree. This is amazing to say that you can walk in a tree. Here's Joey standing by it to see just how big it is.
Did you tell me the third largest tree in the world? Yeah, the Lincoln tree. Oh man. This is third largest tree by volume and General Grant is second and General Sherman is first. General Sherman is the tree that we're hiking to right now. And we're off. Come on, work out. The thing's not moving. It's a warm up. <laughs> Must not well, have been at the gym lately because of COVID. Done. They made a perfect ladder with handles. Epic. This could be an epic fail. We epic shall see. Fail. The expert. Oh, look at the precision. That's how you do it, folks. Well, this is the end of the first part of our hike. We made it to the world famous General Sherman tree. This is the widest tree on record at 36 feet across. It is also the world's largest tree by volume. It draws quite the crowd, so we didn't stay too long, but we love making a visit to this part of the park. We continue wandering through the beautiful sequoia groves for the next part of our hike. Our next destination is Morrow Rock, which is about four miles from General Sherman. Washington tree, point two miles. What is this? Indian bedrock mortars. I'll have to read about that. Sure, that would hurt. A branch just fell off of one of the trees. So uh, we better be careful as we yeah, walk by. Around, be safe. Oh my gosh! No, stuff is still falling. Be careful. The pine cones. Oh my gosh! <gasps> no, right by me. Hurry, hurry, go, go, go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> They're coming down like bullets, like, whoa. Like thud. They should tell you to wear a helmet out here. Joey made a good point earlier that this whole park seems prehistoric, and I feel like giant logs like that are why. Sequoia really is my happy place. It's surprisingly quiet and doesn't get as many visitors as the other national parks. I mean, there were moments on our hikes where it was absolutely silent until maybe a squirrel walked by or you saw a bluebird in the trees. It's extremely peaceful to be able to really break away, have no service whatsoever, and take in the beauty of the world around us. Look how colorful it is. Yeah. 
So we believe that trees like this one were struck by lightning. I'm not sure if I read that somewhere or just came up with it, but that's why some of them are super burnt. We've arrived at Moro Rock. This giant granite dome has a rock cut stairway to the summit. After climbing the strenuous 350 steps, you can see the mountains of the Great Western Divide in one direction and the hazy San Joaquin Valley in the other. This summit stands 6,725 feet above sea level. So we are out of breath, but we made it to the top of Moro Rock. Guys, check out this 360 view. We did it! I'm not sure which was scarier, going up these steps or down. We are wrapping it up on our beautiful day at Sequoia National Park. There really is something here for everyone. It's a world-class place and I feel very lucky that we have it here in the States. So we'll see what we have for dinner because we're both starving and catch you guys later. The next day we woke up warm and cozy in Three Rivers, California. Coffee and breakfast were the first stops, and then we made our way back into Sequoia National Park. Good form. There you go. Lower, lower. Now put it over your shoulders. Just three reps? I've never seen a workout plan with only three reps. I feel it. You hiked 12 miles yesterday. That's it. Let's go. What you got? <laughs> Come on, push. Good morning! Happy Sunday! We are back in Sequoia National Park for day two of adventures. Let's stay on the lookout for bears. <laughs> oh yeah, and there is Moro Rock. That's the rock we climbed yesterday. We were way at the top. actually like a mortar so the Native American women used to crush acorns and stuff like that in these holes and the fact that there's so many right here means that this was a pretty large village so this sign right here says that frequent fires are actually good for sequoia habitats most large sequoia survive fire and live well despite these large fire scars. The tree has eyes and it looks like the rock is in its mouth. Since we're exploring by car, let's take a drive through Tunnel Log. This tree fell in 1937 and they cut a hole in it so that tourists like us could drive through it. Ready? Let's do it. We couldn't resist hiking Moro Rock just one more time. Look at this beautiful day.
see it down there? All those switchbacks. We knew that our day was coming to an end and we'd have to go home at some point. But before we left, we visited the giant forest just one more time. And that's a wrap for Sequoia National Forest. This is a super magical forest. If you liked our video and want to see more, please like and subscribe. Yeah, that's all we got for you. Hope to see you in the next one. Oh. Look in the grass. Oh, how cute. How adorable. Seeing that little black bear was the perfect end to a wonderful trip. <laughs>